Hello Hattrickers, welcome to episode 55 of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino with Inter Calvajero. This week we'll start in the most classic way possible by calling the scouts. Primo Roman, starting with you this week. Let's see, 16 years old. Um, no, EC rejection. Resality. 16 years old. That's a little sad. Okay, but Bolini, you've got something for us. 16 years old. Passable defending. Let's see if he's young. He is actually. Crescentini, Albino. All right. Uh, could be worse. Could be worse, certainly. Let's take a look at this week's youth training while we're there. Because we did actually have some positive news about Nicola Mengi. He can reach passable winger. And with the inadequate scoring potential and passable passing potential as well. And the fact that he's quick uh, makes him quite interesting in... Um, in a development perspective as well. So we'll have a look, see if we can develop him after we finish developing our um, big uh, talent, Meletti. We'll also have to look at the potential in playmaking because he could be a potential triple passable and an inadequate on the side as well. That would be even greater, wouldn't it? Anyway, we have to take a look at this week's midweek friendly against the Danish team because we did get extra training. Yeah, if you look at uh, this guy, from the team in Denmark, Raul Villaccia. He's got sent off in three matches in a row. Just a little side note here. How about that? Unbelievable, really. Um, anyway, uh, on that note, let's just take a look at the match. Uh, we did proc some extra time. The Danish team did get some extra training from this little maneuver. So besides the red card, a, a nice match where we uh, got all the training sorted for the San Marino team in Calva. However, very nice. Let's take a look at the training this week because uh, we did have a few relevant pops, Marassi and Daniel Ruerling, both popping from passable to solid. So not the most exciting update ever there. Profit players, both of them, but still we are on the way. And let's just take a look at the training planner at this point because we are in fact approaching the second season completed and like i said last week we will be comparing this cycle to the cycle in denmark as well but if we look 19 weeks left of defense training this time around so definitely looking forward to the playmaking stint coming up here where we can actually start deploying sanotti and his uh, friends in the middle of the park that'll be very nice we did play Sunday evening against SS Siravale and uh, we did win comfortably by three goals and we did see both Francioni and Camalini on the score sheet. No Sonati this week and uh, actually a little bit of a scare in the 79th minute for Sonati but he only got a small injury and uh, wasn't subbed off uh, due to the injury so perfectly fine that we didn't see Sanati get injured on uh, Sunday evening and if we look at the health update uh, this is Monday evening you'll see that he's already healed completely so that's uh, very nice to see if we look at the league table you'll see that we are seven points behind both Berlin United and Chana Slancha uh, in the third and second place and uh, It'll probably be tough to catch either of them. We'll have to try our best in the next match against Berlin United, where we have had a, a good build up to the match. And we did notice that Anas Gundgren, the left back of uh, Berlin United, was sent off. So we'll see about the possibilities of hitting them in the, perhaps in the left back. We'll see um, how we can do about making use of uh, that situation for Berlin United. So hopefully we'll have a shot in the next match. Looking at the numbers, they are ahead of us and um, it will still be a surprise if we manage to win. There's nothing left to tell you in this episode. Next week we will be doing more of an elaborate one where we compare the cycles in Denmark and San Marino. So until then, I hope you have a great time in Hattrick. See you soon.